And so rule number one is, if you want to live to a ripe old age, develop a poor relationship with your doctor, okay? <laughs> number two was a study done at Yale, and the lady who did it, a psychologist, Madeline Visitainer, said it was really a waste of grant money because there was 100% correlation between an active immune system and a bad opinion of the patient by the head nurse on the floor. <laughs> but if you came up to the nurse and said, today Mr. Jones is going to have blood drawn for his immune studies, and the nurse said, that old SOB is never in his room, won't take his clothes off, and he won't let you draw his blood. There was no trouble with his immune system. But if the nurse said, oh, Mr. Smith today, wonderful guy, had a barium enema by mistake yesterday because we have two Smiths, no complaints, wonderful, immune system was right down at the bottom of the scale. And I think that's one important point that the medical profession needs to realize, that the so-called bad patient is a good patient. And if we will allow the people who want to maintain their individuality, ask questions, show hostility and emotions to do that, then you're accomplishing something. You're not killing people.